Hello, hello everybody. This weekend it's weird. So I'm going to try to get a couple videos in this weekend. And I'll just talk about some stuff going on in the fish room. Right here, I finally got this to start. This is pearlweed growing immersed. So what I've done on this one. is I have made to keep the water spout because this is a I think this is an aqua clear 50 so the it flows a whole bunch so what had happened is it was always blowing my crypts around and they weren't really all that happy with it and so then this is one of the V traps in a breeder basket that I've wedged on there. So the water coming out of the filter splashes down and trickles off that. So there's not crazy current going on. And I've been trying to get that pearl weed to grow immersed up there for a while and it's finally starting to happen so it's pretty cool this corner over here in this tank this by the way this is a 29 gallon this is my newest tank but what we have is that keeps coming uprooted I keep replanting it like every three or four days <laughs> So what I've done now, I took some of these bigger rocks and weighted it down. I'm liking the effect, and I had one of the valves. I put in like so many valves in here, and they all just died. They melted away, the tank was too new, and it was, I guess the substrate wasn't rich enough for them. But, That ended up doing pretty good. This one plantlet, I put in a whole bunch of spiral val, killed all that, put in a whole bunch of jungle val, and one plant tech. And I didn't know it until I saw the leaves. Just one, but all it takes is one. There's about to be a lot. I thought that was a dead female guppy, but it's the vowel roots. I'm liking a look at this. Still waiting for the, this, when it kept coming up rooted, it was attaching itself to the filter intake sponge. But that's gonna, be sad when I have to clean that out but it'll figure its way out I'm enjoying it for now but now the corners bare waiting for that to fill in a little bit these are crypt leaves these are Florida sunset crypts they are a cryptocorn when dead eye variant And they grow big and fast for crypts, the one dead eyes do usually. These are just lit, like this was like one or two leaves. That was one or two leaves. And this one was, this one was very small, but it might have like five, six, seven leaves. It was still very small. And look how it's spreading. So that's pretty cool. And look how this one, this one is sent a runner through the big rocks. 
Look at the panda guppies. It'd be cool if it would focus correctly. This tank has been my favorite tank here lately. Because my 75 gallon, the pluck, I put in all those extra pleco caves and all the plecos do is dig. And with blasting sand and a, <laughs> a four or five year old planted tank now, it's just, they just cloud it up nonstop. Right now it's actually the clearest I've seen it be in a while. So, so not much to look at, let's go check it out. Alright, this is what this tank, this is it on a good day. Because someone has gone crazy down here. This one, this used to be the only cave and now it's like long lost. They all fight and squibble. There's one down there. And then there's always usually something going on here. And there's another one back in there. So ever since I put all these caves in here, they're digging and mucking it up, making it a mess. The main purpose of this tank is growing my red shrimp. I sell these by the truckloads. It's almost like an unlimited supply when you dedicate a 75 gallon tank to shrimp line and plecos. Okay, I won't get too long with this video. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the plants. Yeah, I'll talk. You see, it's just the moss, Nubius. Talked about the plants in the 29 gallon. We'll talk about them here a little bit. So yeah, I took all a whole bunch of Nubius and put outside in the pond. I showed that, I believe, in one of my outside ponds. I'm trying to make this an all albino pleco tank. But I cannot catch. The only way to catch these two original females, they're both chocolate, is to drain the entire, rip everything out of the tank, drain it down to two inches. That's the only way I'm ever gonna <laughs> catch one of these adult female plecos or these great big adult males. Once they get old, they get smart. You can still catch them when they're the, till about a year and a half old, it seems like. And once they start spawning and getting to be that age, then they get pretty smart and they're super fast. Super hard to catch. Well, that's just a couple tanks. I'll show you this one one more time. So excuse the window glare. But this is my 29 gallon from across the room. I'm liking it. Alright you guys. Thank you all for watching. Bye.